All right, so hey, how's it going guys? It's Dennis. I am at the local park and I wanted to do a little more test flying with my Dobby drone. This is pretty much all the equipment I have. I got the drone in this little travel case thing. I got two batteries. There's actually one in here. I have three total batteries. Previously, I did an initial flight of the drone and that was basically, I just got in the mail, charged it up while I was at work, flew it. I was super happy that it was able to uh, palm launch and then palm land. That was super great. Uh, the controls are really cool. So I'm hoping that the app will continue to impress me. So we're gonna get it set up right now. Hopefully this works out. So yeah, what you're gonna do is power on the drone. Okay, perfect. So then I'm gonna go into my phone, which I'm gonna use as the controller via the DoFun app. So actually what I have to do is turn on my Wi-Fi signal. It'll pick up the Wi-Fi from the Dobby. Takes uh, usually a minute or so. Okay, Dobby drone, I see it right there. Uh, let's go into the app. Now I did a initial flight with this drone a few days ago, just kind of just getting it up in the air, making sure it flew, making sure that the controls were good. And it flew fine, but I did not know how to adjust the video settings. So actually my video kind of came out weird and I'll actually, I'll clip it in right now. So that happened basically because I didn't know how to adjust the camera settings on the drone. So I kind of did a little more research. So I think we are okay. So we're gonna go to the Dobby app, start. Drone has been connected. So real quick, what I wanna do is we have eight GPS satellites that should be good. GPS location successful. So what I have to do is switch this over to video, go into the settings, go into the parameters. White balance because it's super bright. I think that's what happened when I tried to fly it initially. I didn't change it to daylight. Um, I'm hoping this will work out correctly. So uh, that's pretty much it. Parameters. I want my preview resolution to be 720 so it's crystal clear on here. So we are ready. I'm going to hit take off on the app right here. And then so I'm actually going to set this real quick to I think 45. Good to go. And let's go take off. Okay, so now we're going to, we're actually going to hit record now. I forgot to do that while doing that, so we're recording. So let's take it up. Let's see how high we can get it. And luckily there's no one here. And it, there's a slight wind, but it's not too bad. But uh, we're up on, it's showing me the height we're at. It's in meters. <laughs> so we're currently at 40.5, 40, it's kind of ranging. So 40.5 millimeters up in the air. That's pretty high. I can't see it. I don't know if the GoPro is showing it, but that's high up there. I can barely see it. I can hear it though. So let's try and go up higher. I'm not sure what the max height is of this. So I'm actually at 45. And that was a brand new battery and the battery is already at 78%, but so it's high up there. 47 meters up, 48. It's struggling to get up to 50, so maybe that's the limit. So I don't know if you can see, but it is way up there. But I can hear it. But it's not too loud, it's not obnoxious or anything. So let's, uh, let's do this. So let's bring it down. Actually, let's fly around a little bit. Let's go forward. So you can kind of see, it's kind of shaky. I don't know how well you can see here, let's go in the shade, maybe that'll help. So it's hovering currently, we're at 70%. Let's uh, kind of go. You can see the nice dry patches of the grass here on this uh, community park. It's nice because there's no one here.
Okay, so no transmission. Uh oh. Connection was disrupted. Okay, here we go. So I guess where is it? Oh, it's way, it's way up there. It's coming back. So I think it's doing a return to home. So it's like flying back here, I guess, because I was too far or too high. But we're at 57%. I'm gonna stop that return to home thing. Let's actually bring it down. So let's bring it down. I can hear it going super. <laughs> so we can see it coming down. Oh, it stopped recording. What the hell? So I guess when it loses signal, it stops recording. So let's see, where am I at? Okay, so drone's right here. I'm right here. I'm gonna do the auto shot thing here. We're gonna do short video. It's at 45 degree angle. So we're gonna hit start and it should recording and it's gonna fly off on its own. Goodbye, Dobby. Have a safe journey. So it's gonna do this. Oh, it's super dark. So it's doing that thing again where the light cuts out. But uh, now it's returning home. I think it's uh, only got 14% battery. So it's coming back. The, my phone is kind of vibrating on this. So it's uh, here now. And let's uh, palm landing. It's gonna lower down. And it's gonna basically be looking for my palm. And so, Okay, so I don't know, what was that, like five minutes of flight time? Um, it's giving me an overheated uh, warning on the controller. Make sure I'm gonna power this off. So I'm gonna give the Dobby a little break. So it gave me an overheating warning on the app and that actually happened last time. And I think the reason for that is because it is fairly hot out here. It's in like the, the mid to high 90s, so that could be contributing to the overheating of the drone but it worked fairly well i'm gonna have to actually go back and look at the footage that's one of the things about this drone is that you can't really just play back the footage it saves it internally in the drone there's about nine gigabytes of memory in the drone and you supposedly you're supposed to be able to um, connect it directly to your laptop or whatever and transfer the files. I tried that and it didn't work. So the only way for me to get the files off of the drone is basically I have to connect it to the app. You have to have a battery in the drone full of power. You have to power on the drone, do your thing where you connect the Wi-Fi of the drone to your, to your app, and then basically you have to download it that way. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I was able to get a couple of videos. That's how I got the initial video of the flight. And that turned out really bad because of the video settings that I didn't know how to set. Um, hopefully this one turned out okay, but I saw that it was kind of doing that thing where it was like blanking out because, I don't know, because of the sun? Because um, actually, maybe because it's too bright, the sun is uh, like right there. So maybe I'll try and go over to that side and we'll shoot the video um, coming this way away from the sun, maybe that'll improve it. So we'll try it again. I have I have two other batteries, so we'll try and do that. So I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna shut off the drone, get situated, and I'll head over to that side of the field, and we'll try and basically get this to function how I would like it to function. Okay, so we are gonna do our second attempt with the Dobby drone. I don't know where I should do a takeoff at. Let's uh, do it over here. Let's take off at the mound over here. I'm gonna power on the drone fresh battery we're gonna set it right here okay there's the signal that we are good to go I'm gonna turn on my Wi-Fi so it can search for the Dobby drone it's connected so let's go into the app now getting this thing up and running is super quick and super easy so GPS location successful I now have it's ranging from 14 to 16 satellites so what I'm gonna do now is I have to go back and change the parameters, um, which is weird because it will change back to default once you turn off the drone. So I'm real quick, I'm gonna go do my white balance is daylight. Let's start recording and let's do takeoff from here. Oh, uh, put it to 45 still. So let's take off. Oh, look at all that dust. Okay, so let's take it up. And I found that the best, um, I found that the best method of 
flying this is with the sticks. There's like a motion thing that you can actually hold the, the your phone and tilt it and do like a motion sense. That's not very accurate, so I don't really like that. The same with the safety sticks. You would think that it was accurate, but you can't control the speed. So even if you're going forward, it just goes, it just zooms forward. Because the sun is up here, let's uh, turn around this way. Let's do a Pano 360. Uh, let's go start. I'm not sure what this is gonna do. Oh, so it's gonna do a panorama all the way around. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, let's actually do that. Let's, uh, let's have it land. And I'm gonna set it for that. Okay, it's coming down. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the camera tilt to zero. And then let's take off once again. Uh, zero this time, take off. Okay, let's raise it up. And what I'm planning to do is just do that panoramic 360 thing. So I'm gonna go into the settings here and let's just do the Pano 360. It's gonna start recording on its own. Oh, start. And it should start rotating. And I don't know if you can adjust the speed, but you can see on here that it's rotating. So it's just doing a panoramic 360 of this area. You can adjust the angle, but I just have it at zero because I just want it, want it to do its thing. So this would be kind of cool for like establishing shots. Like I'm thinking it'd be cool to do like a palm takeoff with the, the camera facing completely down, launch it up and then do a Pano 360. That would actually be kind of cool. So it's telling me high temperature drone has overheated. It's at 52% and I think it's just cause it's so hot out here. But uh, okay, so it stopped, awesome. So we're still at 50%. Let's do a ground landing. I want to see how fast this comes down. Hi Dobby, welcome back. Cool, it's pretty nice. It doesn't bump up like the uh, GoPro does. So I'm gonna change locations because there's a guy playing with this dog over there. I don't want to be flying my drone over them or bothering them. So I'm just gonna switch over and go to this side. And the cool thing about this drone is this is everything right here. <laughs> Plus my phone, which is in my pocket. I have my phone on me at all times, so it's not really a big deal. I have to kind of judge how good the image quality is when I go home and check out the footage. But I mean, it's functioning okay so far. I can't say that it's great because there's not really a way for me to play back the footage. I could, but it would drain my batteries, which I need for flight time and also would drain my, uh, my battery on my phone, which I kind of need.
the Zero Tech Dobby drone worth it? And I would say it depends. You really, really have to determine what your expectations are of this drone and what you're gonna be using it for. My intention for buying this drone was basically have it always on me and kind of supplementing my vlogging footage. So it'd be, you know, just basically palm launching it, getting some establishing shots, getting some cool B-roll, landing it and just throwing it back in my pocket and then going about my vlogging day. The video is basically just not there for me. Um, as you saw in the footage, there are there's a lot of jello effect in the footage. I kept getting the weird black screen and going to video black screen. I don't know if that was an issue with the shutter speed or just the auto white balance or ISO. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's also in regards to the overheating issues. I kept getting overheating warnings on the app um, and it to be fair it was fairly hot that day they do sell an nd filter that goes directly onto the drone camera it's, it's pretty pricey it's anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars that was not something i really wanted to do for my purposes i will not be using this drone for its original intention which was basically for the video um, you know, it takes pretty decent photos, so if you really want to step up your, your selfie um, game, this is really cool. It's really easy to set up, really easy to get it up in the air and just snap a couple selfie shots. You know, in, in that regard, it's cool. So if you want to take it for a family outing or you're with a bunch of friends, you know, they'll probably be super impressed by the palm takeoff and the palm landing. The photos are not that great. Uh, it's probably like the same image quality of a camera phone from a couple years ago, but it'll definitely up your selfie game i would recommend it as a really cool and fun easy to fly toy drone with a camera on it you basically get a live feed of what this camera is seeing as you're flying so a lot of toy drones don't actually have that you're basically just on the ground seeing the drone flying around this one you actually get to see what the drone is seeing so you just you just have to make sure that you adjust the camera ahead of time you can find these on amazon for i think 170 with the cool with the full kit um i'll put a link down below but um yeah check out you know check out pre-owned ones check out secondhand ones um, you can get some really good deals. I actually got mine on eBay for a hundred dollars. So, you know, just check check whatever you have. It's Craigslist, let's let go, offer up, eBay, obviously. Amazon might have some pre-owned ones. So overall, pretty decent. I would not use it for my video needs, like what I was intending. Um, but you know, as a really fun, as a really fun toy drone that has a camera on it this you know you can't really beat that and it is literally pocket sized and you know fits in the palm of your hand um and i just think that the palm takeoff palm landing is just i don't know you feel like a boss when it happens you're just like uh no big deal um so really cool so i will not be keeping this i'm actually going to be giving it to my dad i'm going to gift it to him um so that this will basically be his first drone so hopefully you found this video helpful um comment down below let me know do you plan on picking this drone up have you had one in, uh, what were your experiences with it let me know i'd like to hear what you guys have to say um and if you found this video enjoyable please leave it a like you know comment and maybe think about subscribing and that's going to do it for me for today's video um i will see you guys next time bye guys